A thrift store burglarized on Christmas Eve, but this is no ordinary shop. The money is used to save cats that might otherwise, otherwise be put down. And because of this crime, money is drying up. Jeff Todd is at that store in Wheat Ridge Forest tonight, and Jeff, they still can't open. Karen, the sign on the front says it all. They were broken into on Christmas Eve and they are still waiting for management to fix this door. We've been told before they make about $100 on a good day. All of that goes to the cats. So having been closed for a week is really starting to push limits. This is Raven. She's 11. She is absolutely lovely. We call her our fur model. Angels with Paws isn't your normal shelter. They specialize in finding homes for hard to adopt cats. Close to 11,000 have been adopted over the past 16 years. They had shattered the front door, took the cash register and the donation bin, which was about $500. Since Christmas, the thrift store that runs the kennel has been closed after burglars broke in. They basically just took money from the cats. Not a single penny of that goes to anything other than helping these babies. In 2016, we met with the head of Angels of Paws. She was held up at gunpoint. Now, just a few years later, crime has struck again and it's hurting even more by keeping the store closed. Christmas is usually such a time for giving and love and to hear that someone had stolen that much from a nonprofit. Online, people have stepped up. They've raised thousands to keep the kennel operating so that they can afford food, medicine, and operations on the cats. Definitely is hurting the shelter a little bit, but the community's been fantastic. With another holiday on the horizon, it's unsure exactly when that door will get fixed. The community has given a substantial amount of money, and the hope is that they can get a beefed up security system here. Anybody willing to help this organization? We've got ways for you to do that on CBSDenver.com. We're live in Wheat Ridge tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. All right, Jeff, thank you.